Hurricane Hillary is heading towards Southern California, where it's forecasted to bring heavy rain, flash flooding, and damaging winds. News 2 meteorologist Marcus Bagwell joins us in studio with the impact Tennessee's incoming heat wave will have on this storm. Marcus? Yeah, absolutely. The heat wave that we're going to see here is what's going to drive that storm, Hillary, to move over to Southern California. But I want to show you this video here from the International Space Station. They were able to catch a glimpse of Hurricane Hillary as it is approaching the southern portion of California, and it is a very powerful storm. Let me give you a better look on how this storm is looking on the tropical satellite and you can tell just how intense it is based off of the darker colors that we see here on the map. It is a category four monster storm at this current moment with top winds at 130 miles an hour and even some wind gusts as high as 160 miles an hour and the forecast track does not bode well for Los Angeles or into portions of the San Diego area. As a matter of fact, it's expected to make landfall late Sunday evening as a category one storm before weakening to a tropical storm very late Sunday night. How is this storm is going to play a role in impacting portions of California? Well, it all has to do with this heat ridge that we're about to see expand in our region. Notice how that ridge gets a lot stronger by Sunday going into Monday, but that forces this storm system to work its way up into portions of Southern California, and they could be talking about a lot of rainfall, especially in the mountains and the higher terrains here of the Sierra Nevadas. We're talking about four plus inches of rain. That's going to lead to a lot of low lying flooding that is expected over this region.